The most influential woman that I know is my mom for a couple of reasons. One, she was a feminist before feminism was cool, or at least in my book. I used to be embarrassed that she called herself a feminism feminist, but now looking back, you know, why she was who she was as a feminist was so important because she was, you know, a mom, a female working in, you know, very much a patriarchal culture um, and how to deal with a bunch of crap to, you know, continue to persist in her career. So I now see and re- recognize those challenges that she was facing. And so, you know, really instilled that, you know, ethos in me from the beginning. The second is that she really taught me to lead by example um, and have true grit and persistence. Um, my dad was terminally diagnosed with ALS um, and my mom took care of him day in and day out, you know, held our family together. Um, that were true grit um, and true love that she showed my dad and my family um, you know, has really stuck with me as I, you know, grow my own family, teach my own daughter, um, you know, about feminism, love and persistence. And so for those reasons, you know, my mom is, has been really influential in my life. So the advice that I would give to the next generation of women as you begin your career is, you know, similar advice that I got. You could be whatever you want to be. Um, and I think that, you know, you need to follow your heart in your career and do what makes you happy and find a, find a job and a, um, a boss and a career that you feel supported, um, you know, in your career and in your development. I think that there's, you know, often no one more important than your manager and that, you know, the culture that's around you. So I think like, don't underestimate the the power of culture in a community and you can see that in you know the way that they're making decisions and elevating people around you and you know creating a diverse community um and then i think you can see that especially um you know as you um you know kind of go through that next stage of your career um which you know can be a little bit of a, a drop-off period sometimes for women when they start having um, children and there's all these statistics about, um, you know, drop-off that occurs um, in, you know, a woman's career development. Um, as someone who is in that stage of life right now, um, my advice would be to keep going while, you know, it may feel hard right now. Um that like you will be able to have a successful career as well as you know invest and have a family and i don't think that it needs to be one or the other i think that there's a lot of dialogue um that like tells you how hard it is and how you can't have it all and um i don't you know assign to that i think that you can have it all um there's you know different things that you need to set up around you around support systems um and you know supportive workplace communities that you know support this time in your life but um you can and you know i'm here to tell you you can and i'm doing it um it's not easy but like you absolutely can and i don't think that you need to um you need to choose whether you want to have a career or have a family you absolutely can do both so i just wanted to reiterate that message because i think that we get a lot of messaging Um, to the contrary about how hard it is and how impossible it is to have both. Um, And I just like fundamentally disagree. So um, here's to having, you know, fantastic careers and then also, you know, building a family that you dreamed of.